Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Fake News Watch where we'll be covering the so-called March for Our Lives L Lives with, with, with a V where leftists and mainstream media just this past weekend try to pass off a highly organized top-down protest as a grassroots street movement. A movement started and led by America's kids. The largest youth-led protest since the Vietnam the War. For the kids who gathered here say the they recognize these they young want more. activists. By young people. Oh wait, looks like the feminine Nazis were behind it all. Small black holes stuck in our entire universe. And interesting, that dog is broken. Do we even know who is this 4chan? Watch, 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 watch. So yeah, these protests have been taking place all across the country the past few weeks are total astroturf. As in, fake grassroots. As in, just the same old DNC get out the vote groups and partisan news outlets trying to mobilize some voters for 2018. If every graduating high school senior in the United States were to register, that would be about 3.6 million new voters this coming graduation season. Well, at least we had one progressive who was able to see through all this bullshit, and his name was Killer Mike, a vocal Bernie Sanders supporter and rapper from the band Run The Jewels. Actually, anyone here a fan? Let me know in the comment section below. I saw these guys back live in the summer of 2016. They're, they're pretty great. Well, anyway, serious props to Killer Mike, who took to NRA TV on Saturday to warn people not to become lackeys of the progressive movement. Yeah. You can't continue to be the lackey. Yeah. Like, people are accusing you of being a lackey of the NRA. Well, you're a lackey of the progressive movement. <laughs> because you have never disagreed with the people who tell you what to do. I'm speaking in favor of black gun ownership. Like I told my kids on the school walkout, I love you. If you walk out that school, walk out my house. <laughs> and it's not often that we get people trying to reach across the partisan divide. Something that caused a grade 6 spurg out among the usual suspects. As it conflicts with their narrative that the NRA is racist. Hey, the rapper is getting dragged on Twitter for recording a video with NRA TV. On Sunday, MSNBC host Joy Reid was especially autistic in her coverage. Claiming the NRA only had Killer Mike on their show for the sole purpose of scaring members to become afraid of blacks and therefore buy more guns. Uh, that has essentially treated black and brown people as fodder for a scare campaign to get people to buy more guns. Yeah. And to back up this baseless smear, and the far left's assertion that the NRA are no friend of the black community, Reed also repeated the false claim that the NRA said nothing following the shooting of black gun owner Philando Castile. And that said absolutely zero when Philando Castile, a legal gun owner, was shot down by police. NRA said nothing. So, uh, yeah, here's the NRA statement. <sighs> MSNBC are starting to have just about as much credibility as BLM Twitter. Just like Tim Pool says, most journalists these days aren't journalists at all. They're more activists and exist solely to push a political cause like USA Today, who are essentially promoting Saturday's March for Our Lives, rather than covering it. Claiming 800,000 people attended the Washington DC event, when in fact the turnout was about 75% smaller, with experts in Virginia's DDIS counting it at about 200,000. And this inflated number made its rounds around the outlets like ABC, who declared it the largest youth protest movement since the anti-war protests of the 1960s. It's the largest youth-led protest since the Vietnam War era, but these young activists... When in fact there were more attendees at even the Women's March in 2017. And it wasn't the only false statistic pushed by the media over the weekend. The most trusted name in news, CNN, claimed 97% of Americans were in favor of universal background checks for gun ownership. The fact that 97% of the American people believe in universal background checks. That's huge. Where the 3% is what I want to know. And CNN neglected to mention that this was simply an opinion poll of a couple thousand Americans. In fact, time and time again when the question of background checks is put to the ballot, it is defeated, suggesting that polling is grossly inaccurate when it comes to the issue. 
Even in states like Maine, one that voted for Hill Dog in 2016, voters rejected background checks by 52 to 48 percent. Ironically, MSNBC even pointed this out. Additionally, voters in Democratic-leaning states like Nevada only just barely passed the measure slightly by more than 50% of the vote. And in solidly blue Washington state, voters passed it by 59% in 2014, still far short of the 97 or 90% claimed by the polling surveys at the time since the Sandy Hook massacre. 97%, look at that, 97% support universal background checks. But what would an MSNBC weekend be without a good old appearance from doofus Bill Cosby? The motto seems to be, lead, follow, or get out of the way. Either lead, follow, get out of the way. Whoa, did you just make that up? Absolutely. You know, Brian, I've been to a lot of large gatherings, rallies, marches, some I call. The makeup and the content of it is something that this nation has never seen. This is an awe-inspiring moment. I'll tell you where we've seen all this before, Bill. Way back in the 80s. And newsflash, it didn't really work. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you're new here and you want to see more of this content, be sure to subscribe. Also consider supporting this channel on Patreon or donating a few crypto shekels. Hey, hey, hey. Links to everything including social media can be found in the description below.